All right, today we're going to take a look at another way to make coffee in the outdoors, the Maijo Single Cup Coffee Maker. If you guys have watched my channel for any time, you know I love my coffee. And I have a way to make coffee, even if it's just the instant little tubes of it, um, probably in every bug out bag I have. Um, just something about it. Some people like tea at the end of the day. Some people like coffee in the morning. I can drink coffee all day long and still go to sleep perfectly fine. So <laughs> for me, it's just a preferred drink. But this really wouldn't be something I'd stick in a bug out bag. It might be something I'd stick in a travel emergency bag if I'm in a hotel that doesn't have a coffee maker. But I've seen these at Walmart, and this is also a deal alert to let you guys know too. These are on clearance now. They were, I want to say they were around 20, 25 bucks. These are on clearance now for uh, $6.95. They were had them up in the clearance section of the uh, outdoor camping stuff. And I figured, you know what? For that price, I'll try them out. These are kind of unique because they actually can use K-cups or regular cups of coffee. I'll open that up and take out the K-cups I put in there. So we're going to demo it with the K-cup today. But it comes with one of these. Now, if you've seen this before, you know these just open up. You fill it up with coffee, stick it in there, and press down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to heat up some coffee and actually heat up some water and actually make it. Your first part, when you get it, it's going to be like this. It's going to come apart in pieces. And I've already used it, so yeah, there's a little, little water in there. <laughs> I got to test it out. Um, so basically, all to assemble it, you're going to take this piece here and just stick it in there. It'll hold. You know, it's not in there too strong. The nice part is, is when you push down and you get a little resistance, you can lift that up and the air will come in through that hole in the middle. Next, you got the bottom and the container here with water. This is where you put your hot water. This bottom piece is where you're going to drop in your K-cup and it will pierce it. So a word of caution, down here is a very sharp piece of metal. I doubt you can see it in there. But it's a sharp tube with an edge. It will pierce through that. So you want to fill this up once you get that in there. And we'll just use this guy for now as an example. Um, you're going to screw this on and you will have to push down on it and pierce it. You're going to fill this up with water, put this lid on, and just pump. And like you see I said, once you take that off it lets the air back in and you just pump. And you'll have this over a cup or a container or whatever you're going to be making it in. So what I'm going to do is heat up some water and go grab a cup because I forgot to bring one out and I'm going to show you how it works. Alright, I'm all set up out here to do this. We've got our little uh, burner going here so we could even simulate this as a camping kind of thing. I turn on my burner. Now as far as cups go, what I do is I just take the cup I want to fill and I will dump the water in to the pan and spill water everywhere because I'm really good at spilling on video. <laughs> um, and let that heat up. Once that's hot, now this is an interesting thing too, you'll notice a little plastic rubberized piece in here. That rubberized piece on the bottom there will not open until it's squeezed. There is a slit in the middle of it, and the only thing that will open that up so the coffee comes out is by pushing down on it. So you can fill this without anything in it. You can just fill it right here and then screw it onto your coffee. So what I'm going to do now is wait for that to heat up, but in the meantime, we're going to take this and just push down on it. That snapped it into place. I prefer to do it that way than to screw it in like that and it take a while. And we're just going to wait for that to heat up. So I'll bring you back once we're boiling with our water. All right, I got boiling water going over here. We're going to turn that down. Carefully pour that. We're going to do it like this, I think. Pour that into here. Nice and good. There we go. All right. Ah! It's running away from me. Okay, you're just going to push in the sides, hold that there, and start pushing down. And you can hear it, I hope you can hear it. It gives you a little bit of resistance as you push it. Once you think you've pushed far enough and there's still water in there, you just let up and this will come up a little and let some air into the hole. And you just push again. It's a good idea to kind of hold it like this, especially on maybe a thinner or smaller cup. 
that might wobble around a bit. And I've used this probably now about four or five times. And my wife loves it, so we're probably just going to keep this at home. This isn't going to be something. I have so again, I have so many ways to make coffee while out camping, bug out bags, all that. That this is just going to be a convenience for home. I think. Not really something I would uh, pack up unless I was car camping or something like that. So let's see. We got a little bit of coffee water still in there, but that's good enough. Let's see what we got. All right, there you go. So it's a simple little product. You can use this with the K-Cups, you can use it with the imitation K-Cup. Toss it in your bag. It is on clearance right now at Walmart for um, around 7 bucks. Really can't beat it at that price. So if you don't have a way to make coffee while you're camping, or even if you want to put something in a bug out gear or something like that, this is a good option. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great week. And um, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. Talk to you later. Bye.